I am so excited about what is in the box because I now have a massive, super expensive consignment of new toys I've just bought and they've all just been delivered. So the first thing I have is a new Sony Alpha 6500 camera. Uh, let's just open this, have a look at it. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, lots and lots of bits and pieces, really tricky to get into. And somewhere in here, oh, we've got some straps. And this part here is the bit I'm interested in. So this is a camera body for a brand new uh, Alpha 6500 uh, digital SLR. Um, the cool thing about this is that it shoots in 4K um, and obviously that has loads of functionality, loads of really good stuff there. So we've got the camera body and some accessories. And to go on to this, I have my new camera lens. So this one over here, um, this is kind of where you spend a lot of money. So we've got, uh, so don't, don't drop it. So we've got a massive lens to go on the front of the camera. Um, oh, let's hope that doesn't roll away too much. And then we've also got this kind of big bit of plastic um, to help with the light on the front of that lens. So if I put it on like this, this will then be attached to the camera. And if I just very carefully line up the white dots, that looks like that. So this is now um, a digital SLR camera that can shoot in 4K. Um, on the front of this, I have one of these filters, uh, which just goes on the very front of the lens in there. So I've got a filter to go with that. And then I've got these three boxes here from a company called Small Rig. So let's see if I can get into these. And this is called a small rig uh, mount. And basically what it does is this goes around the body of the camera to protect it. And then you can actually add all sorts of bits and pieces to it. So let's just have a look at that. Okay, so this is basically what that camera body is gonna be mounted into. So I've got the small rig frame over here. Uh, this thing over here, also from small rig, is a wooden um, kind of mount, which is basically uh, going to be the thing that you put your hands onto. So effectively, this is um, like the kind of wooden handle over here that goes on the front of that frame. And then this thing here um, is a big handle, uh, quite useful in terms of clamping this onto other bits and pieces and also just holding the camera. So we've got the small rig um, kind of assembly over here that I will make at some point. Um, also in the box, I've got a few other bits and pieces. I've got a couple of 120 gigabyte um, memory cards so I can record lots of footage. And also to actually go on the back of the camera, I have uh, just this small protective screen here that can uh, go over the top of this screen so it doesn't get damaged. So that's pretty nice. I've got a couple of cables here. These ones are micro HDMI to HDMI cables and also these things called cam links. Now, there's a good reason why I've got two of them, but effectively what this means is that rather than using a webcam, I can use a 4K camera. Um, I can take the feed from the camera straight to my computer when it comes to live streaming. So that means I can basically take high quality um, footage from cameras straight to my laptop when it comes to live streaming. I've also got, uh, because I've also got a USB microphone, I've got an extra thing here so I can actually start to plug in all of these many things that have uh, USB drives. So I've got some cam links. That's gonna be really important when it comes to live streaming before exams. And the final thing is this Rode uh, microphone. I'm currently using a Rode microphone in my studio at the moment. This one over here though, um, let's have a look at it actually. Oh, it's a box in a box and if I tear here, this means I can basically um, have one microphone so the Lavellia mic can be attached to me and I wear this kind of little thing. And then what it does 
is it basically sends the output from me over to the camera and it doesn't need to be connected with a wire. So I think you can stand quite a long way away. I think you can be sort of like 50 meters, even 100 meters away from the camera and you get really high quality sound. So we've got a couple of these uh, bits here um, and all sorts of other goodies in the box, including again, more USB cables, some fluffy bits and so on. So this one over here, um, why have I got this? Well, actually, this is identical to the camera that I'm filming this video on. At the moment, I'm shooting in 4K. If I just zoom out a bit, you can see that this is everything I'm recording. And the good thing then is that I can maybe crop the image in down to 1080, which is the kind of quality you need for uh, videos on Vimeo and uh, YouTube and things. And I can actually zoom in even more and the quality doesn't get too bad. So the idea now is that I'll have two different 4K cameras with the same settings. I can then have one facing me and one looking at something else, especially when I do practical work, as well as the ability now to do more uh, remote filming. So I'm not just in my studio, but out and about. Um, and also the ability to downlink from a 4K camera to do live streams when it comes to the exam time. So just a stash of goodies, uh, well over £2,000 worth of equipment, and hopefully this investment means I can keep making better and better videos for you guys in the coming years. So don't forget that you can subscribe to me on YouTube for free, and also you can go to my website so I can actually pay for this equipment. Uh, I've got videos for both GCSE and A-level physics. You can find everything at physicsonline.com. Go there and then you'll just find hundreds and hundreds of extra videos and other resources to really help you prepare for any exams that you might have coming up. Thank you.